Hey everyone, welcome back to, we are week seven now of our Team Compton weekly update. Um, this week we'll probably keep it pretty short since it is the last week of summer uh, before some of your families and your kids uh, go back to school, uh, elementary school, middle school, high school, college. Uh, it's that time of the year where just things go by a little bit too fast it seems like, but uh, it's exciting for for uh, everyone to start uh, some fresh pages, a uh, new chapter, especially if it's for first time for your kids to go to school um, or, you know, first time in high school. So exciting times ahead. So that's uh, somewhat of the positive stuff I'm going to say. And uh, before we get into the market, uh, we'll just talk a little bit about uh, what we're seeing in the market. We'll keep it short and sweet this week. Um, and with the condo market and then just get into our downtown area, um, Don Mills, Lee Side, and Mount Pleasant, Young and Eglinton. And I'm also going to add in some Durham areas now of Pickering, Ajax, and Whitby. Uh, just figured I would add that in just to give a little bit more of a scope of what's going on in the GTA. Um, and so recently I just saw a headline that talked about how prices uh, are going down and they're taking a nosedive and experts are really worried. Um, I don't think it's something that uh, should be too worried about. This is kind of all the things that uh, need to happen for things to hopefully change for the better. It is really, it does hit a lot of people pretty hard. So it's not fun, but this is what uh, we are trying to do with the Bank of Canada, trying to slow down um, the spending of everyone, uh, bring inflation down, get unemployment up a little bit. So these are all really hard things, but these are not things that are um, unexpected for these kind of circumstances that we are in. So when you talk about, when you hear about things taking the nosedive, like this is a very slow time of the year to begin with. And then with inflation, our uh, Bank of Canada interest rates going on the rise, this is just naturally going to happen. Again, this is very unfortunate and it hits a lot of people um, in the bank account, unfortunately. But uh, overall, the main thing is that if you are able to hold on to your properties or just to hold off and see where kind of things settle, then that is the best thing you can do. If you do need to sell, um, hopefully it's for something that you're moving up to or moving down to, then th this could be, this is your time because this is what you have to do. But if you don't need to, then this is a time to just kind of hold off and see. And But at the same time, you know, this is, it's, I don't know how long we're going to see until we get some positive news from Bank of Canada. But in the next few months, I would say maybe half a year, there's going to be some opportunities because once Bank of Canada does uh, show some positive news and even um, to to lower the interest rates, then it's going to be again another floodgate uh, that we saw, um, you know, in February when everybody came out and prices went up a lot more than we were expecting. So I do think that we saw the peak in May, and uh, like you're going to see prices continue to go down month over month, maybe not year over year, you might see prices go up year over year, but uh, it's starting to become a little bit more of a balanced market in the sense that uh, condos, especially condos are becoming a more balanced market. As I said, like you're going to see uh, less sales in, in uh, year over year for condos, but month over month, they're actually doing the best because they are the most affordable. But I do think the most competitive areas are going to be the townhouse semis and the around a million dollar mark because there are still a lot of people that are trying to move up um, if they do have a condo and families are growing and as I said if you do need to buy or sell these are things that these are circumstances that uh, are uncontrollable right um, so at the same time whenever you're moving up or down the prices overall across the board are lower so you're going to be selling a little lower but buying a little lower or vice versa um, so these are things to think about and not to get too hung up on on what you see in the news. Um, so let's just get uh, into our uh, stats. I'm not going to go too hardcore because you have it. You can check it out in our our email um, if you subscribe. So and then we can go more into detail through on on the blog there. All right. So the downtown surrounding areas we saw prices lower. Um, active listings pretty flat. 
uh, we saw a few sales uh, at 20 for this is for freehold and months of inventory is picking up so these are things that we're, are, we're going to be naturally seeing um, and again prices are going to go kind of up and down um, condo market for the downtown area we saw less sales um, there's actually less active listings but there are there were about 170 uh, terminations so I like to include that just to kind of give a perspective of like okay if active listings are going down isn't that kind of like a positive thing for the condo market which it is but then at the same time you see a lot of people taking taking their listings off just because they've been on the market for too long and just going to kind of wait and maybe see till uh, after around fall time after back to school usually when things start to kind of pick up um, so we saw that uh, month of inventory is down actually so again this it's kind of interesting you would think to go up again but when you see the terminations right uh, so Don Mills area we only saw one sold again it's a little bit of a slower area it's a very uh, smaller pocket uh, compared to the downtown surrounding area uh, prices went went down up quite a bit. Uh, we saw active listings pick up a little bit, uh, so months of inventory therefore picked up a little bit, but nothing too substantial. Um, and I do think that we'll continue to see that kind of picking up over the next month or so. Um, and then condo market uh, around the same thing, pretty flat overall. We saw a few more sales, uh, but the average days on market were 47. So a few of those sales just were uh, pretty were on the market for a pretty long time. Um, that happens a little bit more with condos compared to freeholds. Uh, the lease side area, prices went up actually, active listings went down, months of inventory went down. Again, these are things that are not typical, but you do have the, um, the, the terminations where we saw nine terminations in the freehold, so it's not too, too bad, but interesting to see. People are just kind of, I think, obviously a little hesitant to bring something out in, at this time of the year to begin with. and. Uh, with our interest rates that we are currently having. Uh, condo market uh, prices went up, active listings went down a little bit, therefore months of inventory went down a little bit again. It's the time of the year, which is people are not bringing anything out. I'm gonna wait until after after uh, back to school starts. And so, and for a new area that we're gonna add in this week is the Durham area. So we picked the Pickering, Ajax, and Whitby areas. Uh, we saw prices at around just over 900,000. There's a lot of active uh, listings, but it seems to be pretty normal for this kind of area. Uh, a lot of new builds there too, so you know you have a lot of people that are looking to try and get rid of their investments as well. So we saw um, a huge pickup in active listings from the week before, uh, about 300 more, uh, and we saw about uh, 40 less sales. So. That is kind of something that we should be seeing across the board, but uh, I think in Durham area it picked up really, really fast um, during COVID. So, and again, investments and such. Uh, so those are the kind of numbers that we're seeing there. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that and kind of keep a tally what's going on more so as we go through the weeks. Uh, this is our first week in the Durham area, so can't go too, too in depth with it right now. Uh, the condo market, seems like prices went down, active listings picked up. Uh, months of inventory picked up so these, again these are things that we are normally seeing we should be seeing across the board but uh, it seems like people are a little bit more eager to try and get their listings sold no matter what the market um, so those are the numbers um, and you know I think at this time and for the rest of the year we're probably going to see that uh, whatever um, listings do come on the market about 25 percent of them will sell each month so you really got to have your, your, your property priced really well and it shows really well. If you have tenants in your, in your property, um, please try and talk to them and have a civil conversation just to, to have it be uh, a little bit show ready. Um, tenants are tough sometimes to, to accept uh, showings and to keep it clean and tidy. So if we can keep it clean and tidy, you know, and price it really well, uh, then things will move, right? But if you are, if you have higher expectations, then your your listing is going to sit a little bit longer for sure. Um, so, if you have any questions for different home type and or area, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I'm loving doing these weekly updates, and uh, 
will keep at it and to keep trying to improve, try to improve my camera angles a little bit. We'll add some things uh, as we learn. Um, just really, really appreciate everybody watching. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, guys.